Harry's obsession with getting uh, armed police protection when he comes to Britain continues apace. Uh, he is going to appeal yet again, and this is after a, effectively a second appeal uh, was kicked out not so long ago when the judge said, you're wasting your time, you have no prospect of ever winning this case, but he's gone back to uh, the appeal court. Uh, he's appealed uh, to the High Court and uh, has now been allowed to appeal yet again uh, he's already spent a million pounds on all of this. Uh, he's had to pay the Home Office's legal expenses. That was about half a million. His own expenses are half a million. This will cost him another half a million. Uh, you know what they say, a fool and his money are soon parted. Uh, I think that might be the relevant phrase here because he is chasing a lost cause. Most legal authorities agree. Prince Harry has been granted the ability to appeal a previous decision that dismissed his claim regarding reduced security when visiting Britain. This is definitely good news. But as we have seen, not many people understand Harry's actions. They do not understand that Harry's pursuit for security is neither about clinging to royal privileges nor about money. No, it's a deeply personal and urgent matter that transcends titles and status. It's about protecting his wife and children. The safety of his loved ones is paramount, and he is determined to ensure they are shielded from harm. Stripped of his UK security detail, Harry faces a stark reality. Every time his family steps on the UK soil, it is vulnerable. The threats they may face are real and cannot be ignored. Harry is not asking for special treatment. He's asking for the basic right to safety, a right that every individual, regardless of their status, should be entitled to. His appeal is a father's plea for his children's well-being. As a parent, his primary concern is the safety and security of his children. It's also about setting a precedent that ensures the safety of members of the royal family that in the future may decide to step back from their royal duties. How the UK handles this situation has implications for future generations of the royal family. It is a decision that will echo through time. After all, it is not Harry's fault that he was born into the royal family, and whether he likes it or not, he cannot visit the UK without security. Everyone who has eyes can see that the British media is obsessed with his family, and history proves that the British media has no boundaries when it comes to getting a story about Harry and Meghan, and therefore, it is not a surprise that members of the British media are the ones on the forefront of hoping Harry does not get back his security detail when visiting the UK. Uh, but it does feel like Harry and Meghan, specifically with Meghan not coming during the last visit, Meghan not coming during several of the last visits, Harry refusing to stay at the palace, it's almost as if they're trying to prove their point by saying, oh, well, Meghan can't come. She's not safe enough. Uh, Harry can't stay at the palace. It's not safe enough. Yeah. They're the most immature adults I've ever witnessed in my entire life and it, and it feels like they're creating this distance to punish the to punish somebody or, and to prove some point um, but the reality is that's the safest Prince Harry would have been at that palace absolutely and uh, of course uh, when he came to London recently he then uh, flew off uh, to meet his wife uh, Megan uh, in Africa uh, for a tour of Nigeria uh, one of the most dangerous countries on the face of the earth didn't have any British armed police protection there did he didn't seem to worry too much so there's no consistency I think this is about a pompous young man child who cannot take being told no and this court keeps and, saying keeps saying no 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 and he goes no I will I want I must have this protection it's pathetic it's pathetic but it's also a man that really struggles with the idea that he is not considered as important as his brother, exactly. the heir. It's exactly. the spare syndrome. And just it just eats him alive that William and Kate are considered a priority over him and his wife. First of all, Kinsey, you are the immature one. Secondly, if the palace was the safest place, would Harry and Meghan have left? Absolutely not. Harry's decision to step back from royal duties was a difficult choice, driven by a desire to protect his family from the relentless media scrutiny and security threats that plagued their lives. The constant barrage of cameras and the invasive nature of the press created an environment that was not only stressful, but also potentially dangerous. The constant intrusion took a toll on their mental health and well-being. Something had to change. The pressure was unrelenting, and the need for a safe, private space became paramount. Harry and Meghan knew that in order to provide a stable and nurturing environment for their children, they had to take drastic measures. In short, 
Harry and Meghan left because the palace was neither safe nor a stable environment to raise their children in. In addition to that, Harry and Meghan could no longer trust the people behind the palace walls with their safety. Who knew what information or lies they were going to give the British media? So, no Kinsey, the palace is not the safest place for Harry and Meghan. And Kevin, you are correct. Harry did not need UK police security while he was in Nigeria because you know what? Harry is seeking security against the British media. Nigeria is way more secure for Harry and Meghan than Britain will ever be because the African media is not as obsessed with them as you are. Finally, Harry's fight for security is neither about Prince William nor Kate Middleton. It is about his wife, Meghan, and his children, Archie and Lilibet. Harry desires that his children will experience the British culture. He wants to share his heritage with them and expose them to the traditions and values that shaped him. He wants them to understand their roots, to feel connected to the land of their ancestors. But he cannot do this if he cannot shield them from the intrusive glare of the paparazzi. He wants them to have a different childhood than he did. He wants to allow them to enjoy a childhood free from constant scrutiny. For Harry, it's about finding a balance, preserving his kids' innocence while fostering a sense of belonging. In addition to this, despite stepping back, Harry's commitment to public service remains unwavering. He has always been dedicated to making a positive impact, and stepping back from royal duties did not change that. In fact, it allowed him to focus even more on the causes he is passionate about. Harry continues to champion causes close to his heart, using his platform to advocate for mental health awareness, support veterans, and promote social justice. His work in these areas has been tireless, and he has used his voice to bring attention to issues that are often overlooked. This dedication to service is in his blood, a testament to his character. From a young age, Harry was taught the importance of giving back and serving others. This legacy of service has been passed down through his mother, Princess Diana, and Harry is determined to continue with her legacy. He's determined to make a difference, even outside the confines of royal life. Harry wants to continue contributing and making an impact globally, and that global includes the UK. He proved his dedication to serving the people of UK when he hired Charlie Gibson as a director of comms to be based in the UK. Harry wants to use his skills and influence to create positive change in the world. And he cannot do that if he is constantly worrying about the safety of his family while in the UK. And that is why Harry will continue to fight for his security and that of his family. Harry's new life is a balancing act. Every step he takes is scrutinized by the public eye, and every decision he makes is weighed against his past as a royal. However, he's forging a new path, one that allows him to live a life of purpose while safeguarding his family's well-being. This journey is about redefining what it means to serve and contribute to society in meaningful ways. This includes pursuing his own ventures, supporting his wife's endeavors, and raising his children in a safe and loving environment Harry's commitment to his family is evident in every choice he makes, ensuring that they are protected and cherished. And as he has said time and time again, that is his priority. As squadrons, we wish him nothing but the best. Thank you for watching.